folds around him and disappears. Just for flavor, because I can't, yeah. but just for flavor, yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah, like Taika to lunge out to grab him, but of course, you know, he's in the portal already. Yep, as you reach for him and you just grab nothing. Man, I would have really loved if, like, Archie was just holding out one counter spell. <laughs> Yeah, just for that, just for the uh, yeah, It would have been good if uh, two of our party members uh, made wisdom saves early on, you know, when I, so yeah. I actually had level three spell slots. Oh, you know? I'm yeah. fucking sorry the dice yeah. fucked me, all right? Not, it wasn't just you. Can be That's a really big shadow to live up to. I really didn't feel like beating you up either, Josh, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's and with that, this guy with no hands turns, screams like a girl, and then runs away. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't. Um, I'm going to chase Marcus, his ass. And then Marcus gets an opportunity attack on him. Oh. You watch as Marcus just reaches a hand up, grabs the guy by the throat, lifts him off his feet, and you hear a sickening crunch as the neck is cracked. The neck is just crumbled. Oh. Marcus and tosses the guy to the ground in a heap. We are out of combat. Um, Tycon's immediately going to go to Scarlet and give her 20 points of lay on hands. Ah. <laughs> Marcus is yeah. just standing there panting. Your eyebrows slowly just grow back. Just because uh, she's really badly burned and he doesn't really think that she would like scars, so he's going to dump all the lay on hands he can into her. Yep. Thank you, Taken. We mean she's a warrior. She don't care about her scars. Marcus oh, stares at the eyebrows. Marcus stares at the bodies and steps over here a bit. And you know as he's sort of stumbling and stepping and his steps are a bit odd, like he's struggling to keep 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 control of himself. Mm. Oh, she, she takes the arm from Archie and gets up, even though it takes her yep. like five minutes to get up anyway. Yep. And goes yep, over dropped. to Marcus and uh, will uh, let him lean on her. As you go up to him, he, he sees you and pushes you away. He's, Stay away! What's wrong? The others, they're attempting to take control of me. He goes to reach for his sword, and then he rips his hand away from the sword. Oh, I can I walk, walk up I walk, to him. I was going to say, I walk up to him. Yep. Do... I say... Go on. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I, w I walk up to him. Is there anything on the outside that visually looks like he's powered yes um i'll do the thing to show his picture again it's that blue thing isn't it yes there is a there are blue there's a blue thing in the middle of his chest i he's sort of flashing red occasionally i grab marx's hand yep right and i slowly bring it to his core and make him wrap his hand around it. He puts and, hand I on. and I tell him, and I say to him, do the right thing. As he you, will, nods. you will see each other again. He nods. Um, is, what's Archie doing during all this? I'm making sure the dragon ward is still fucking functioning, yeah. probably. As, as, as Archie's immediately focused on the task, um, as Marcus sort of has a hand on his thing, he looks at you, Tycon. Mm -hmm. Looks at you, Scarlet. He says, it's only a matter of time before, and you notice it's flashing red occasionally as if they're trying to take control of him. Before they get control of me fully, the leaders, they, they have a base in Waterdeep. Where? They use they use the cult of Baal as a cover. Where's the base? Sorry, I'm checking myself. No. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. He's got to check something. We don't have time. 
Cult. Yeah, in, in in the oven, and it is a buttery biscuit base. Cult of he says. He says. Near the market. North end of Castle Ward. Well, it's north end of Castle Ward. A shop. Camella's Candles. Thank you. You he rest says, now, friend. He says, "Light the red candle. That will get you into their into their base." Archie, overhearing this, says, "Noted." <laughs> <laughs> he says, um, "With that, he says, I cannot fire them. They're they're in my mind." Scarlet. Yes. Remember me as I was, not as this. Of course. They have more like me. Scavenged from that battlefield. Rebuilt. I understand. Re remember me. Remember me as I was. So, Your father so would just... be proud. Oh, go ahead. So he says, your father will be proud of you. And you realize he was the guy who said that at your oath. Oh. So he, uh, she gives him a light hug. Uh... As you give him a light hug, you notice a hand, his other hand goes to grasp your throat. Fucking... And as he grabs for your throat, <laughs> I need you to make me an, I need you to make me an athletic spec. I see. Ten. Oh. He starts choking you. I'll put. I, yep. I will put my hand on the arm that he has control of that's over his core. Yep. And I say, do it while you still have the power. He says, remember me as I was. And then he just his hand just clenches, and you hear a sound of the sound of metal tearing as he tears this metal. He said he tears this magical core out of his chest, and in an instant, all the glowing lights on his form fade, and he drops to the ground in a heap. And oh, the hand around your throat him. loosens. So do I. Make a strength check. <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, okay. I bet uh, Titan could have done with our straight strength. Straight strength. Great strength check. Oh, fuck. He is uh, heavy as shit. His body is mostly metal at this point. I, I did help, but him. I only rolled 11. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scarlet manages to take most of, the, most of the weight. But he falls, and the body is lifeless. She, she sets him down gently. Yep. You sort of, and he's heavy. He's mostly made of metal. You sort of settle him down. And he is still. The room is silent. Aside from the, the faint hum of the Dragon Ward restored to its normal function. Gee. Uh, can, can I do something that's a little, this might be a little bit un, like, uh... Yeah, what do you want to do? Like a bit uncouth. Uh, I'm gonna grab, grab, pick up his sword. Yeah. As you pick up his sword, it is big and is heavy, but it looks like its magic has now faded. And then I'll put it. I'll. I'll... Well, because he's lying down, I presume, I grab his hands and I clasp, put them over the sword of the hill, and then I put, like, the, like, next to his chest. Yep, yeah, cool. You sort of put it there. Um. Okay. As you're doing this, um, Tycan, what are you saying to Archie? Archie. Hello, that was my name, that is me. May I ask a favor? Yes, what would that be? 
He points to his face. He says, would you mind cleaning all the blood off me? I've seemed to have gotten quite a bit of her on me. Oh, man. It's just a fucking tooth sticking out his forehead. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> clean faced. I don't know about the rest of you though. <laughs> anyway, I have a, I, I've, I have something that I need to take care of real quick. I turn and I just look up and I start speaking in my own head. What are you, what are you saying in your own head? Hey, no, I'll owe you there. <laughs> a, few, a few moments pass before you hear. Mostly, seems you have a red wizard problem. We do. I have information. Also, I've dealt with the ward. Well, we did. It wasn't fun. Good, good. The oh, the bit of chaos. A lot of dead in the streets, but. Also, I have a there. question. Mm. Mm. Yes. Do we have anyone that can um, bring people back that have uh, died? We do have the capability somewhat. Uh, not, oh, not many. Who who do you need to bring back? Romalia. There's a there's a momentary pause. I'm I'm sorry. I thought I heard you say Romalia as in one of the council members. Romalia, Heaven Tree. She needs to be brought back. She needs to be questioned because she knows what happened here. But she also got a thorough pounding in the back on the uh, business end of a longsword. I will see what we can do. Very well. I'll see you shortly. It's going to be a tricky one because they have to be willing to come back. This is true. I have a feeling that she was set up. And knowing the type of person that she probably is, being the aristocratic and person that probably doesn't want to be shafted like this, Vengeance might be right. <laughs> I hope. That's what I hope. Mm. But that's the, that's only a decision that she can make. I mean, so, you can always speak with the dead if she doesn't want to be uh, brought back. Well, the dead can also not give us truthful answers. They can just answer vaguely. So, But the thing is, um, everyone, reconvene, please. I'd like to talk for a minute before we uh, leave. Of course. Um... I would like to uh, take Romalia's body back to uh, the council chambers real quick as I shut this area temporarily and make it so no one can get in or out. I will go fetch it immediately and I had to go to head downstairs. Yep. You, a few moments past the body. You grab the body and a few minutes pass and you are back upstairs with, with Romalia's body. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Well, yeah, I, I would say we need to go back down. Like, I'll go with them. <laughs> I, 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 well, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't make I, I, can go down I, and come back up and then I, go back down. I, I, I imagine Tiger's going all the way down, got the body covered up, and he's like, all right, we're going down. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I can just uh, imagine the body. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, Tiger. Hey, 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 Matt, would, would I be able no. to carry Marcus's body? With your strength check, yes. It's heavy and it's slow. Question. I have expertise in athletics. Could I carry Romalia and Marcus? It, One or the other. Yeah, Marcus yeah. is significantly more heavier. Yeah, we have the same strength. I would, I, I would definitely equipment. try to give you the job of making sure no one else gets to Romalia. Except, so. Yeah. For me? Oh, yes, you. We, My body, get back. We'll take that body with your life, you know? We, we, we both have the same strength. We're carrying these bodies with the same strength. It doesn't matter. Yeah. My, the only way. difference between us is I have expertise in athletics. Which would we will deal with these bodies very soon. We have some other pressing matters that we need to deal with, like a certain candle in a certain shop area. I 
think we should take a rest before mm. we go. Oh, that is also true. It's nighttime. I would like to get a little bit of sleep, but I would also like to convene with the councillors, who are probably extremely nettled right about now. <laughs> I am um, also extremely nettled. And um, did you see Tycan? Whew! Damn, I've never seen him so angry. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I do apologize. I'm a, before, I'm before we go outside, can we, uh, can we take a small break? Uh, I would oh. like to get this done as quickly as possible. I would also like to take a short break in the overall schemes of fourth wall breaking, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to break now before we continue, we can. I think you meant a short break in game, right? Yeah, 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 or yeah, out yeah. a short rest yeah, in game. Short yeah, rest. Got, yeah. Got, gotcha. Got, yeah, cool, yeah. Can we take a short? Well, yeah. Let's take it. I'll, I'll say let's take let's take a a Kit Kat break at the top of the tower before we leave. Yep. Okay. Right, um, As you. Yeah. There's one thing where I would like to do if, if we're doing that. Yep. Um. He's going to go over and cut off bits and pieces of, uh, well, no, he's just going to go to the nearest, uh, Red Wizard, take their coat off, and use it to, like, cover her body, because he doesn't think people should see that at the moment, so. That's a great a idea. <laughs> it's just going to be a black bundle in a body bag. Hmm. And since we're taking a short Wait. rest right now. A red one, anyway. Nine temp HP again. <laughs> what? I, would, I would just like to say that you went from cutting pieces off to cover up <laughs> well, I was cutting the I was cutting the robe off of a red wizard to cover up the dead Romalia <laughs> it's easier just to cut their arms off and slip off the... <laughs> All right, no essentially what I imagine he did was just make a, a basically turn it into a giant jacket just so he could wrap it up easy it's not pretty it's just he doesn't want people to see your face, mainly. Um, but yeah, easy enough to do, as the body of Romalia is covered up. Um, you guys proceed to rest. Um, catch your breath. Patch up wounds. We have a break. Marcus, we have a kick at. The body of Marcus remains still. Control destroyed. I'm happy because if you said the body of Marcus lights up and grabs Scarlet by the throat again, I would kind of freak yeah. out. Mm. She's going to keep his core, though. <laughs> just, just imagine he hears Marcus and reaches up. Yeah. Um, and what's interesting for you, Archie, you remember fighting the Red, Red Wizards before. Is it, while you outsmarted that guy, what you see in Marcus, the culmination of machinery and magic to reanimate a person in that way is new yep. mm -hmm. and it's Got definitely it. done by someone far more skilled than the people you found in this room yep. archie off. should study it in case he needs to do it to one of us oh, oh it, it, we've gone all hex tech in this business uh no this is not hex tech <laughs> can i be sonar again <laughs> No. Give me. <laughs> no. I don't know, it definitely reminds me of Vic doing with that. Uh, I, will, I will say this for out of game purposes. Uh, he was essentially a half Warforged. Like. I want to be that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. Like, yeah. in, I... all, in all seriousness. Mm. I don't want to be that. But that sounds terrible. Like have it ba basically like, because you could have different levels of it. Like half Warforged could be like bottom half is robot and the top half is normal, like legit. You half could go half. for the worst combination: the bottom half storm or the top half's robot. <laughs> robot in the dick, and he's just like, oh. <laughs> um, but but with that, um, you guys finish your rest. Mm -hmm. You receive a message, yep. Archie, from um, Danola, <laughs> saying, well, the cleanup's beginning. Um, if you are able, can you please meet us in the council, meet us at the council palace? 
We're going there right now. Excellent. I have a friend. Very good. Hmm. Um, I also that. like friends. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Friend? Well, I should hope so after fucking 200 uh, years. Archie, should we drop Marcus off at my place first? Or should we take him? I, I think the council like should know what we're dealing with. Fair enough. I think the best thing you could probably do also is bury him in your crypt. I honestly don't think that's the best thing because they might be able to track it. I we mean, smelt him and use him for parts. Oh, how how I fucking think we rough. Oh, uh, yes, did. that's exactly what Tyken should be saying at this point. Oh, no, Tyken didn't say it, Justin did. <laughs> Let's dismantle him so if he comes back, he can't move. Scarlet has the core. Yes, yeah, so let's disarm and deleg him. Yeah. Um, with that, you guys Scarlet exit the. the... You can't do anything right now. Yep. Um, with that, you guys exit Agaron's tower. You step outside, you see more than a dozen commoners and whatever unconscious on the ground that are currently being gathered and piled together. Um, Tycan, you recognize some of the clerics who are about. They are covered in blood themselves. You get a mm -hmm. sense some of them are probably under that murder aura as well. Mm -hmm. But they are proceeding to tend to the wounded. I'm sure they're mentally disturbed from the weird murder, or I will have a personal conversation with all of them at later on a later yep. date. Yep. The sort of question here. Yeah. When it comes to the whole divinity thing, because paladins and clerics are like different in terms of that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, if, sort of. Yeah. Like, well, you you know what I mean. Like a, a cleric is like direct power, basically. They're both mm -hmm. they're both direct in different ways. But yeah, what what's the question? Even though what they did was out of their control, would they still technically be punished for it? No. They would have... They... Well, it depends. They may repent anyway. It, it, it really depends on the deity, but most deities would be like, nah, fam, you were under a spell, it's fine. Yeah. At least... Yeah. Like, no, like, like, how like Helm, Salune, Lathander, Aminator, they would all be like, oh, you're good, it, it wasn't your fault. Wasn't here for it. Yeah, no control over it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but like I will say, you you, you do get a sense, Ty game from looking at them. They are going to be repenting. Uh, he he figures as much. Yeah, the the um, the, go the gods and goddesses usually aren't like, oh yeah, fuck you, you that's your fault. But it, it's more like the person's like, oh shit, I did this. Ah, repenting time, repenting time. Yeah. Yep. But as you exit out there, you see Onthar there. You see Griffin Riders in the sky as Orlam, the gnome, is around, mm -hmm. um, coordinating the efforts. And you can hear him shouting, there are three more wounded over there, as Griffins fly that way. You get a sense of they're quickly regaining control. Fires are being put out with use of magic. Uh, a few guards sort of approach you as you exit the tower and say, halt, halt there, as... All M, as All M, the dwarf. Sorry, Onthar, the dwarf, says, "Oh, fuck off! They're good." <laughs> and the guard goes, "Oh, oh, yes, counselor." And the guard sort of wanders off, leaving leaving you guys to go to the palace by yourself, if you wish. <laughs> yes. I was, I was about to say, it's like, "Oh, right, that's right. We're not part of the council." <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, in all the chaos, you get a sense that they're gonna let it slide. <laughs> You know, there's a time to enforce the rules, and there's a time to be like, you know what, we got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Um, you guys, if you are willing, uh, go to the palace. Mm hmm. Yep. Get to the gates. The gates have been burst open from the inside, and you can see there are the remains of combat. Cleaned up for the most part, but there's still splatters of blood, broken swords, and shields. The guards in the palace were also under the effect of this. Oh man, I haven't seen this much of a party for a while. 
Um, you make your way into one chamber as you move your way through. Um, where you see there are three cultists of Baal currently nailed to the wall by more than by more than two dozen arrows, and you can see that uh, you can see a Modron floating there, damaged but still standing. Oh man, the Modron is a beast! Yeah. Let's go! It can fire four arrows in a round, that thing. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's, like, it's, it's like, like a it's like a quickling but better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The Modron just like sees this like scanning. It's like, huh? Uh, uh, target not unauthorized. Assault mode engage. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Out cannon is bigger than his body. As you guys step into the um, step past the Modron, mm -hmm. uh, into the what you recognize to be the council chambers. I would say to the Modron, we have authentication by Daynala. Beep, beep, okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> It interrupts you by going beep, 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 and opens it up for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it already I, knows, good. I think it knows. <laughs> As you step inside, you see three individuals. One, you see Lady Silverhand. Yes. Wearing what looks to be a nightgown that has been covered in a bit in a spray of blood, and there are a few cuts on her face. <gasps> no, not her face! But she is fine. And you see Dainala, who is, as far as you can tell, untouched. Unharmed. I spam shield, motherfuckers get picked. In the middle More of life. them, in the middle of the room, <laughs> between them, as Lady Silverhand and Dainala are staring at this figure, is a red wizard. Oh, oh, would you look at that? I wonder if currently, it's an actual red wizard. Currently, it is an actual red wizard. It is mm -hmm. a red wizard. They're wearing, they're, wearing they're, they're, they're bald. It looks to be a man uh, wearing the same red wizard robes, bald with the tattoos. They, it looks like they're being held by arms and legs, like in a, like in a star position. Uh huh. And it looks like they're being held taut by like chains or something like that. Like if that makes sense. Oh. Yep. But there are no chains. Oh, someone just got them prisoned. <laughs> uh, Dainala is, you know, you notice that Dainala's eyes are just focused on this individual and you get a sense that she's doing it tele like telekinetically. Not gonna lie, that looks kinky. Not gonna lie, sign me up. Uh -uh. I, 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 or I actually <laughs> say that. Do you actually say that? <laughs> no. Okay, I actually say that looks kinky. As you, as you say that, that, that's the first thing that's said as you enter the room. Dainal yeah. turns to you and says, No, this isn't my thing. And you hear the wizard sort of growl for a second before there's a snap as one of the fingers bends backwards on the wizard. She likes it rough. Is, is that your thing, though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> as Dainal as, as, as says, Yes, I made a friend, see? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I can see him somewhere. being bent always that he uh, he's getting bent more ways than one um anyway <laughs> L L Lady Silver in terms of you says I apologize about my appearance I haven't had a chance to freshen up since the attack I'm it sure everyone got rudely awoken don't worry about it <laughs> yes yes she says I was there I was um Minding my own business, having a bath, when three of those red Ruffians. wizards came in, my came in my window. Well, at least they died in bliss, I guess. I'm sure they got uh, expelled out the window very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> one is being one I had to clean up with a dustpan and broom. Oh, yes, I understand that completely. <laughs> <laughs> One of anyway, the things to see before you die, you are not bad. Is there a like a rectangular like table nearby? There is a there is a, a longish meeting table sort of idea. Tyken, if you would uh, put the uh, body down over there. Oh yeah, we brought something else as well. Um, Scarlet. 
I don't think we should put him on the table. I can we need to show them off. what we're dealing with. I think the table would... Does this table look sturdy enough? To hold well, it? put it on the ground. You you can... No, I'm, I say put... put Put yours on the ground. She, put she, she put the put, put the Romalia, put Romalia on the table. The, Jesus the, Christ! The, the table is big enough for the entire council to meet on, so they can both fit on the table. And it know is made your out of, place, trash. And it, is, and it is made out of solid stone. Okay, solid stone. Okay, I thought it was still. Yeah. I thought it was. Wood. Oh, you can put 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 Marcus on the big table. We'll yeah, put yeah, Romalia yeah. on the Mar small table. Hmm. Mar Marcus gets um, put on the table. Well, she table. still holds the cord, though. Yep. As you put the the, the thing down, Lady Sylvan says, "What is this? This is this is new." As she approaches. Indeed. Quite curious. An old friend as well. You know this man. One of my best generals, back when I was still alive. That's troubling. Agreed. He told me that there was more like him. Hmm. I have a general feeling that he was the highest, though. From the same battlefield, which doesn't bode well. Lady Sylvan says, unfortunately, after the battle, there were so many dead and so few left. That's... Aside from those who were determined to look for their loved ones, you, for example, and just as you, Scarlet, um, were found by Orlam. Um, the rest were, unfortunately, left to rot in the field. There were scavengers but that we saw, but we thought they were just gathering weapons, you know, materials, with bodies. I she puts have a question. To the body, just like, if they want to study okay. it. it. Says yes, it'll be worthwhile for us. We'll have our people look at this. He'll be treated with respect. If possible, it would be nice to have him back. We'll Though see what I... we can do. Lady Sylvan says, it's very rare that we get to study the Red Wizard's capabilities up close. But we'll see what we can do. And then, then attention is look, turned to you, Archie, because you're about to say something. Inala. Yes. Have you had word from all the rest of the council? Yes, uh, most of them. All Lamb is currently out there, to, um, well, returning order to the streets. I know where Ontar is, but the rest of the council, other than obviously Romalia. Payan was at his was at his home. Um, he was also attacked, but he is well, quite competent. Indeed. King Melandrak. He is, well, disgruntled, but fine. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he isn't disgruntled. He always seems to have his knickers in his foot. Hmm. Natasha told me that she has two new goldfish. <laughs> oh, understandable. I presume she's fine. <laughs> yeah. Melise is fine. The hunter, or well, they were hunting her, and then she hunted them. Yes. Sounds very. Right. She's fine. Valiant, Cora, Sakor, Siokira. Uh, Lady Silverhand speaks up and says, "Siokira lives within the palace here. Siokira is fine, but the stonework has been melted." Understandable. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot, but I understand. <laughs> uh, Denala then speaks up again and says, Cora 
is still busy chasing down the remnants of the cultists of Baal as they as they scurry back into their holes to hide. Mm -hmm. Valiant's on his way here. You said you wanted someone to speak with the dead or to at least raise the dead. Um, Valiant would be the best man for the job as a member of the council who can do that. Very good. The council to take are made up. So she says, oh. she says the council are made up of strong individuals, of powerful individuals. It's not often that one gets, well, this and gestures to Romalia. Well, to Speaking fair, of I'll... which, <clears throat> Titan sets her down on the table. Yep. And then he will turn to uh, everybody at the council and say, <clears throat> "I do apologize. I know we were not allowed here, but there's a special circumstances." Lady Silverhand says. As leader of the council, I I have allowed this temporary access. It is fine. I would like to ask a temporary application of help with about what we're about to do next. Hey, Silverhand says, "What is and what is what is it you wish to do next?" Before I consider this application. Our friend here, who was a friend of Scarlet, divulged the information of their base. As you say that, the Red Wizard, who's currently being telekinetically held in the middle of the room that you're all standing in, begins to go... Rrr, 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 rrr. And then I says, think ah. someone agrees. <laughs> I was interrogating this person, said Tanella. <laughs> I was oh, interrogating I, them. I, I, I say... They, uh... they, they were refusing to, to tell us where their base was. How uncooperative. And just hmm. sort of stares at the, the Red Wizard. <laughs> yes, we figured out the, where their base of operations are. And I have a feeling if we're going to meet more people like this, I point at the mechanical man who can do stuff like that. I point at Romali's body. It might be something that we may need a little hand with. Or big hand, preferably. Well, Cor Either or. They did say Cora was still searching. Maybe we'd find her on the way. I'm sure Cora. I was going to. I was going to state that Cora might be one that wants in. 